Okay, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to our X Factors Computer Fundamentals. Uh, as you know, my name is Ruth Jenkins. I've sent you an email the last few days. And um, so I'm just going to check with everybody in the room to make sure you're here. So Andre, got you here? Yep, I'm here. Fantastic, thank you. Josh, you're here? Yeah. Yep. Fabulous. Thelma? Yes. Great to see you again. And Ashley? Yes, I'm here. Perfect. I see you've still got your wrist strapped up a bit, so we'll be able to take care of you with that, no problem, thank during you. any writing activities. So firstly, there's a few things just to go through for our session. And as you can see, I've got the slide up there, and the first slide is welcome, okay? Uh, this program that we're doing, it's all part of BSB TEC 101 Operate Digital Devices. And we'll be running three consecutive sessions, and this is the first one, which is specifically about uh, computer fundamentals. So everyone's got their computer in front of them today, which is great to see. Great. So firstly, I just want to thank you all for submitting your um, previous work around your assessment for support for well-being. I'll be going through that. All of you submitted a lot of information and I'll be doing that after we finish in the, the room here. Um, and we'll be using the RPL process for you all. So I would have sent out to you the student handbook prior and also the assessment submission process, so you've got that information. Um, if you need any extra support during the process, please give me a shout and I can help you. Uh, one thing just to mention is the access and equity policy and also the plagiarism policy that we sent out to you as well. Just make sure that the work that you present is your own work. And um, we will be, obviously, there is a results appeal process at the end of the assessment. Okay, but we'll go into a little bit more detail on what the assessment looks like very shortly. Okay, any questions from anybody? Uh, what's that rumbling noise? That rumbling noise sounds like it could be a plane taking off. <laughs> We're very close to the airport, I believe. Oh. Yes? Okay. okay, so just want to check in with everybody. The temperature's okay? Yep. It's fine. Obviously, that's just generating a bit of heat. So as you can see on the slides, we're going to go through a couple of things in, first of all. Uh, safety in the online environment. Obviously this program that I'm delivering is face to face, but when you're actually working, it's vitally important that you maintain great posture, that you keep your back in alignment, that's it. I can see Andre there, great positioning for your back and also for you Velma, thank you. Um, make sure that you adjust your seat when you're working as well and you've got your monitor positioned correctly so that you don't have any strain on your neck. Um, I see no one here has got the keyboard and mouse and you're using the little pad in front of you, that's great. But when you're at your desk working, make sure that you've actually got a mouse pad and maybe you need a wrist support as well. And then rest regularly. Um, it's very important to get up and stretch. So if anyone feels that they want to stand up and stretch during this program, as I said, this session's only 30 minutes long, but you will have plenty of time to have a stretch afterwards. So let's get to know each other. Tell me a little bit about yourself. So if you can just introduce yourself, that would be just fabulous. So you, let's start off on your side. Um. Yeah, my name's Josh. Uh, I'm working a bit more with computers now because I've had a bit of an injury. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. Well, it's really great to have you here, Josh. Uh, my name's uh, Andre, and I've been came from Manila originally, and I've been here for five years, and I like working with computers. Oh, great! Well, you're certainly in the right place. Computers are so much fun, aren't they? Yes, I love them. Awesome. I'm Venma, and I would like. Uh, to develop more skills in computer analysis. Fantastic. And where are you originally from, Velma? Um, Is it Sudan? It's Sudan, yes. Oh, that's it. I remember seeing that on your application. It's great to have you here. And for yourself? Oh, I'm from Melbourne. So, you know, I'm wearing my Melbourne outfit, <laughs> all black today, of course. Fabulous. And, um, yeah, I'm, I've actually had a bit of a, an injury. I was skiing recently on the, the snowfields in summer in Melbourne. 
and broke um, <laughs> my wrist, which okay. is pretty annoying, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting good at typing my wrist. Well, that's fantastic. Well, if you need any support around that, you know, we can definitely help you with the writing side of it. Oh, that's very good. Thank you. So thank you so much for all being here. And I'm going to go through the slides. Um, a little bit about myself. <laughs> my name's Ruth Jenkins, and I'm going to be the trainer for today. Uh, born in Wales, lived in South Africa, now fair days of Aussie. So life is great. Uh, just don't call me Sheila, just call me Ruth, okay? I thought that was funny, okay, never mind. Um, so let's talk about the learning outcomes for this 30 minute session. It's getting familiar with your computers. Uh, during this session, we're going to learn about creating and naming folders, using the correct naming conventions, renaming and moving folders and subfolders, and locating and opening documents and applications. And finally, the very important functions of all the different computer key components. Um, especially if we're not used to working with computers, it's great what's going on in the background to have a, a better understanding of that. And feel free at any time during the session to ask me any questions. So this is how the structure is going to be set up, is we're going to discuss the importance and benefits of having basic computer skills. Obviously the 